is a common story. You're having a few drinks with your friends and suddenly you feel the urge to pee. You go to the urinal and you do your thing. Afterwards, you give it a good shake, but unfortunately, your shake wasn't good enough. And some more urine dribbles out, staining your pants and your underpants. So annoying. However, you're not the only one with this problem. In fact, it's very common among men. And in this video, I will explain exactly why it is caused. I will explain some tips and tricks, and we will cover possible treatment options and much, much more. Therefore, make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. For those of you watching for the first time, my name is Raoul. I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewers, because educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And when looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get started. <music> So as promised, I will start this video by explaining exactly why this little bit of annoying urine dribbles out after you're done peeing. This little bit of urine dribbling out is called, in medical terms, a post-void drip. Medically, it is described as an involuntary loss of urine immediately after urination. It's not completely understood yet how a urinary dribble is caused, but many factors have been indicated which contribute to the causation of urinary dribble such as prosthetic urethral trapping. As you probably know, your prostate, which is a walnut-sized gland located between the bladder and the penis, can get larger. Now your urethra, which is the tube through which you pee, runs from your bladder to the tip of your penis, and it runs through the center of your prostate. As the prostate grows larger, this can make it harder for the urine to flow past this area, trapping a part of the urine, ultimately leading to a urinary dribble. Another possible cause of urinary dribble could be abnormalities of the urethra or trauma to the penis. This can cause a severe narrowing of the urethra, which could then trap a portion of your pee behind it, and over time this can dribble out. Other contributing factors could be an inflammation of your prostate, previous surgery of your prostate or your penis, severe constipation, frequent coughing as in patients with asthma or COPD, being overweight, and persistent heavy lifting. And in some cases, no clear cause is found for the urinary dribble. It's thought then that a neuromuscular dysfunction contributes to the urinary dribble. There are many different muscles in the penis and surrounding the urethra which help to propel urine forwards. If these don't function well, or if they don't contract rhythmically, this can cause a part of your urine to dribble out over time. It's thought that aging and several neurological disorders can contribute to this problem. Which brings us to the question, how common is a urinary dribble? And many different studies have been done to answer this question, and the results differ hugely, from 5% at the one end of the spectrum to 63% of all participants of a study at the other end of the spectrum. In a nutshell, you're not alone. This problem is very, very common among men. Now, if you're dealing with this pesky urinary dribble and you're finding this video helpful, then please leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing so you never miss such an awesome medical video ever again. And now let's continue with some tips and tricks on possible treatment options. It might be helpful to apply a urethral massage. This is a massaging technique which helps to propel urine out of your urethra. It starts with you waiting just a few seconds after you're done peeing, which allows your bladder to empty completely. Then place your fingers behind your scrotum and push upwards to the base of the penis. This applies pressure, which can propel the urine into the upper parts of your penis. There it can be emptied with the usual shaking or squeezing. And it is important to repeat this process one to two times after you're done peeing, hopefully to prevent this urinary dribble. It might also be helpful to change your position while urinating. This leads to increased muscle tension and contraction in your pelvic area, improving your ability to pee. In addition, try to delay peeing when you feel the urge to do so. This can help to strengthen your pelvic muscles. And lastly, according to some recent studies, sitting while peeing might also prevent a urinary dribble. Which brings us to a very important question. When should you contact your doctor? And as mentioned, a urinary dribble can be caused by many different problems. An inflammation of your prostate, trauma to your penis, and much, much more. And besides a urinary dribble, these medical problems can cause other symptoms, like a weak stream, difficulties to start peeing, 
straining to urinate, difficulties to keep the flow of your urine going, so you're starting and stopping to urinate, having to pee more frequently, and having to wake up often at night to pee. And if you experience any of these symptoms, it could be wise to contact your doctor. He or she can help you to find out the extent of your symptoms and find the underlying causes. Your doctor might do this by asking about your medical history, your current problems and symptoms, the medication you're using, and afterwards your doctor might do a physical examination and some blood tests. And if necessary, your doctor will refer you to a medical specialist like a urologist for further treatment or diagnostics. Which brings us to some possible treatment options. And as you might have thought, the treatment depends on the underlying cause of the urinary dribble, as treating this might also improve the dribble. Duh. However, there's one treatment option that is advised to almost anyone with a urinary dribble. These are pelvic floor exercises, also called Kegel exercises. These can be learned and practiced with a physiotherapist who specializes in Kegel exercises. Now, these exercises are notoriously hard to learn because it can be hard to control your pelvic floor area. However, patients describe these exercises as following. It feels like you're lifting up your penis without actually touching it. Or it feels like you're stopping the flow of your urine while peeing, except then you do this without actually being peeing, without actually peeing. Does that make sense? Not all jokes aside, if you do grasp how to do these exercises, it's recommended to contract your pelvic floor for five seconds, up to 10 seconds, then relax five seconds and repeat this about 10 times and do three sets of this every day. Lastly, depending on the underlying medical problem, there are several medications which might be helpful. Anticholinergics can help to calm down your overactive bladder, and alpha blockers might relax your bladder neck muscles and the muscles surrounding your prostate. Now, I hope you know more now about a urinary dribble and how it is caused, and I hope you found these tips and tricks and the possible treatment options helpful. It's important you discuss these with your personal doctor to find out a perfect treatment plan for you. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing. I'm posting weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer. And if you can get enough, I also have an Instagram account at How to Medicate. I'm posting their weekly posts as well. And lastly, thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Sebastian, who's an investor tier supporter. And thanks all of you. I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.